It's 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. He handles a lot of my personal issues, a lot of my personal <laughs> legal uh, stuff. Paul, what kind of client is Quinn? Well, he, uh, you know, he, he's consistent, I would say. <laughs> Like yeah. I always got something for we, him. We hear from him quite a bit, but but I would say nothing nothing mind bending in terms of any wrongdoing. It's right, just, nothing uh, nothing horrible. Yeah, I'm a pretty good guy. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. pretty boring stuff. Would yeah. you consider me as a victim more than anything, Paul? <laughs> I would say that in many parts of your life you've been victimized. Yes. Yeah, I think that, yes. that's our main defense on most of these oh. cases. Yeah. Well, I, I really appreciate all the work you do for me, Paul. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we wanted Paul on this morning because we we hit this story a week ago, and I. I just don't believe it, and so I figure Paul could shed some light on it. Oscar Pistorius, we all know the story, is in jail and is eligible for house arrest, but the story said he can't be under house arrest because he doesn't have legs and they can't put the monitoring bracelet on him. Right. Have you ever heard of anything like this, Paul? Well, I haven't. Uh, what we have here is we have the ability to do wrist uh, bracelets, and they also have... Uh, uh, almost like a belt that you can wear if we have amputees who, who are in this situation. But there are the rules pretty clear. It says it has to be on the ankle. And of course, he has he has no ankle. Uh, what this really is is there's, there's a lot of animosity, a lot of a lot of uh, energy between the prosecution and uh, and and the defense here. And, and you've got a situation where the prosecution they wanted a murder charge. They think they had right. all the evidence that he should have been in jail till the end of time. And of course, he was uh, found guilty of what they call uh, culpable murder, but it's more like our reckless homicide, almost the manslaughter, but reckless homicide. So he's out in 10 months, they don't like it, and they're saying, hey, no ankle, no house arrest. So they're just being real pains in the you-know-what is, what, is what's going on here. <laughs> it is, but, but, the, you know, but the letter of the law says that he can't get it. I think what they'll do is come around and find some other meaningful way to monitor him in right. his house, And uh, but it certainly made some headlines in you know, can't certainly uh, put him in a worse position because he's uh, been a double, double amputee. How, t- how tough, I mean, because you see in the movies, Paul, maybe you don't know the answer to this question, but how tough is it to, to bust one of these things off? Yeah, um, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I, I would have to revert to my uh, time watching 24 and uh, see, yeah, that's you know, where I'm prison mine break. And, yeah, I, I would say like nearly impossible. And, and I do know that um, if they're jarred significantly, it goes off, meaning right. the monitoring group can tell. So if you fall down the stairs or something, they're they're aware of that. That I know. So taking it off, I don't think is is much of an option, uh, unless of course a defect or something right. like that. Quinn, I'll that's make sure a good I... question, but that's a question best left for our picks listeners. Right. Well, I was going to say I'll tell. I'll forward that on to Lorna and Grovesy <laughs> right and everybody All right. else. One eight hundred Law ten ten. One eight hundred Law ten ten dot com from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. It's Paul Harding on the phone. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, guys. Take care.